yo 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 what up everybody it's your boy julie jules and we are back with another story time tuesday now this story is kind of goes together with uh the story of the girl that i had met and got in the car accident with and then the girl the same girl that i lost my virginity to okay so uh i believe it was a couple months after my 16th birthday so after i lost my virginity right and i had plans all week to go to her house and just hang out okay and her parents are super strict uh she was hispanic and white and her parents didn't really want her to be with a black guy okay and i've dealt with this like my whole life you know what i'm saying whether it's dating um a white girl a hispanic girl or an asian girl you know what i'm saying like most of the time their their parents do not want them with a, a black a black kid you know so um it, it is weird because the hispanic you know the dad is a minority himself here in minnesota you know what i'm saying so it's like it, it, i don't i don't understand it but that's neither here nor there but her dad was a cop okay and we uh we had plans all week to hang out and so uh i had hit up my boy matt y'all know maddie g i had hit up maddie g and let him know like um because i didn't i didn't have my license you know like i didn't get my license until um like later on that year but yeah probably i probably got my i probably got my license in like september or something like that but i needed him to give me a ride down there to drop me off to go see her and he dropped all right so he picked me up he dropped me off down there i think he actually stole some condoms uh and then gave them to me <laughs> You know, I hope Matt is watching this because Matt, look, I, 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 this ain't gonna, you know, this is 20 years later. This ain't gonna get him. He ain't no criminal. He's just a kid being a kid. But Matt was notorious for stealing condoms. Okay. Anytime we went to the, to the gas station, that dude was jacking condoms. But anyway, uh, he gave me some condoms and, uh, I, uh, I went to her house and we're kicking it in her room and you know they got like this big mansion right it's like but it's like a old mansion like a like a it, it kind of looks like a scary like like a scary castle type mansion where like you actually need like an actual lock a key to open up the lock you know like the, to the door so like it's like one of those like those locks where like you can like see through the keyhole you know what i'm saying and then you need an actual key to like lock the door lock and unlock the door so she um she ended up locking the door for some odd reason and i'm like like she wanted to smash and i'm just like look like you know your parents are downstairs and and they don't want you to be with me anyway like i don't think that this is a good idea you know what i'm saying like i'm just trying to be respectful of the parents of the house and everything like that but um she she wanted she wanted to get down you know what i'm saying so um we start uh getting down with the get down what i like to call it and uh you know like because i'm trying to like be mindful that somebody could come at come up at any moment like i'm hearing people walk through the hallway all the time you know what i'm saying so her parents room was on like the first floor they had like three floors you know like three floors so like the bottom level first floor second floor third floor we were all the way up on the third floor and people were like walking back and forth and um i'm like getting nervous like yo like i don't think we should be doing this you know but um we ended up starting we started getting down and i left like my shirt on obviously right and she left her shirt on and we just took out took off our bottom half you know just in case somebody came up we could just like you know roll over and just act like you know we ain't doing nothing like with covers over us or whatever but uh we uh I had my pants down at my ankles, all right? And 
I'm, you know, I'm in there, you know what I'm saying? And because I'm nervous, you know, your boys, your boys lasting, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was lasting. I was kind of proud of myself. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of proud of myself. So, um, we were getting down with the get down. And then like, I hear like, a, I hear like a creak of like the, uh, at like the door. And then like the mom, like already had a key. She already knew what she was doing. And she unlocks the door comes into the room and just sees me on top of her and i'm just in there like and uh and then she's like oh my god oh my god i can't believe what i'm seeing you need to get off of her right now get off of her you guys shouldn't be doing nothing like this and then i'm just in there like uh so I'm like gradually like sliding out from in between her you know what i'm saying from from inside of her and then I pull out and then her mom's like, uh, uh, you're going to have to go home, Julian, some, some, some. And then so like, I like, I like, like put my feet on the ground. And I start pulling up my pants and then she's like, oh my God. And she just starts screaming. Right. And then she starts like screaming for the, uh, like her, her husband and stuff like that. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like, cause th at that point she knew that I was actually, um, Paul, chill out at that point she knew that i was like we were having sex you know what i'm saying so like i was like oh my god so i pulled up my pants and then she's like you have to go right now get out of here get out of my house and then like so like i'm like walking down the stairs and I'm, I'm going to grab my shoes and stuff and then she's telling her husband what happened and then of course her older brother acts like he's all big and bad and he's trying to get all up in the action or whatever and then so um like I get outside and I'm walking down the street and and like I I have my phone and I'm like I call Matt and I'm like yo I need you to come pick me up or whatever and as I'm walking down the street her brother and her dad come running down the street after me and I'm just sitting there like what the fuck you know what I'm saying so then like her dad like grabs me by my shirt and he's a cop so I can't do nothing you know what I'm saying and then like, he's all like, I don't want you ever around here again. You're not supposed to be doing that in, in my house. And I don't, you better not ever talk to my daughter again. You'll never see her again. And then I'm just sitting there like, okay, okay, chill. You know what I'm saying? And then like the, the her brother's like sitting right there acting like he's hard. And I'm just like, I will beat your raggedy ass. You know what I'm saying? Cause her brother thought he was big and bad. He was a couple of years older than me, but I would have whooped his ass. That's when I was like really training in boxing. You know what I'm saying? Like I was heavy training every single day. And, uh, I was like, looking at him like, bro, I better not ever see your ass around, but I couldn't do nothing to the dad. Cause that's just disrespectful. And he's a cop. I'm not trying to get in trouble. He was old too. So I would have, I would have whooped his raggedy ass too. But anyway, so, um, I call Matt and he comes down and he picks me up, right? And he's like, what happened? I'm like, yo, man, you know, we was, you know, we was doing our thing or whatever. And her mom walked in, this and that. And then uh he's like, damn, man, that's that's crazy. And 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 like, I mean, we're kind of laughing at the same time, but it's actually it's not funny at all. But then so he drops me off at my house and he's like, you good? And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm good, man. Appreciate you picking me up. And then I, I'm like in shock, y'all like super in shock. Okay. And I go into the, I walk into my house and I open up the bathroom and I go inside and I'm just sitting there. I lift up the toilet and I'm just sitting there just like, man, what the fuck? And I'm just starting to pee. Right. But I ain't hearing nothing. Like I'm not hearing no pee hit the, you know, hit the, hit the water. I still had the condom on, y'all. The condom was still on. I was like, oh my God, I'm so shocked that the condom's on. I'm pissing in the condom. Oh my God, it was so crazy. Uh, the next day, I ended up telling my dad what happened just in case her parents called my parents. I wanted to be ahead of the story. I told my parent, I told my dad, he told my mom, all that kind of stuff. It was kind of crazy. Um, it's funny to look back at. At the time, it was kind of like not cool. But at the same time, like we rarely ever saw each other. So it was like, we had to like get down whenever we could. Um, but so this is part one of the story, y'all. There's gonna be a part two, all right? So stick around for next week's video, all right?
part two is a, it's a little you know we get a little bit more into depth about everything you know what i'm saying but um this is that's all i got for for this week y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button and if you're new you know what to do hit that subscribe button if you want to catch some live streams you can catch me over on twitch i live stream every single day 5 30 p.m central standard time so i'll leave the link to that down in the description let me know in the comment section if y'all have any stories that are similar to this if whether you know if you got caught doing the nasty by parents or by friends or whoever it might have been but i would love to read y'all stories i always love reading them so let me know down below but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all in the next video i'm out y'all peace